What's going on, guys? Good morning. It's your girl, Self Pay Rose, aka Money Line Mommy, also known as the CEO of Elevate Your Success 101. And I'm blessed and grateful to be coming back to you guys with another episode of Elevate Your Success 101, where we give you that mental clarity that can help you go next level and ultimately elevate your success. So, for those of you guys that are new to the podcast, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a comment and leave a review once you find some value from our podcast. To all my re- turning listeners shout out to my followers shout out to all my fans all my supporters i love y'all all across the globe y'all helped us get you know national ranking on spotify apple Podcasts, iheart radio the list goes on man i just want to say i thank you guys for every time you listen to a podcast podcast episode y'all take the brand to the next level and today we're going to be going over our 40 self-care rules for life right if you've been following each and every episode you guys know we're going through a series where i break down 40 self-care rules of life we've already covered steps 1 through 20 and specifically on today's episode we will be covering steps 21 through 25 so bring those notebooks back out grab a pen real quick i'm gonna give you about 5 10 seconds to get in position to learn because you guys already know you got to get in position so that you can put somebody else in position and the only way that you can be in position is if you always prepare to get better right so steps 21 through 25 are exactly what we're going to be covering today's episode of elevate your success 101 we're covering those 40 self-care rules that you guys can actually use in your day-to-day life to start developing some positive habits so you guys can start you know developing a new character with inside yourself okay so if you ready i'm ready let's dive right into it right step number 21 is for you guys to seek out challenges okay i don't want you guys to think that life should be easy i want you to go out there and seek out challenges so that you can become better problem solvers right you can be the type of individual that can find a solution on their own because you went through challenges and you faced those challenges and when you did those challenges you became a stronger individual right stronger mentally physically emotionally holistically i want you guys to go out there and seek out challenges things that are going to push you out your comfort zone things are that are going to make you try new things when you seek out challenges I want you to understand you're going to become a nasty individual. You're going to become a monster. You're going to become a dog because you went through the trenches. You went through the grind. You made it out the gutter, baby. You overcome challenges that the normal post, the, the, the normal person would honestly fold under pressure, right? But me, I want y'all to know we, we've been through a lot to build the brand, to build the podcast, to become, you know, globally recognized and listened to on multiple platforms. We had to go out there and seek out challenges. I understood that life wasn't going to be easy. Entrepreneurship isn't for everybody. But what did I do? I went out there and sought out the toughest challenges so that I can gain the knowledge I needed to gain so that if I ever came to these same challenges again, I will already have the keys to unlock every door closed in my way. So number 21, seek out challenges. Number 22, don't follow the mob. Be your own crowd, right? Don't follow the mob. Be your own crowd. You want to travel the road less taken. You want to create your own pathway. You don't want to do what everybody else is doing. You don't want to follow what everybody else is following. You don't want to wear what everybody else is wearing. You don't want to look how everybody else is looking. You want to be able to stand out. Understand that you are God's highest form of creation. There will never be another you. It's only one you. So why do you got to follow what everybody else is doing? Understand that you'll stick out the most if you stay true to yourself. Guys, don't do what all the rest of the fellas is doing. Be creative. Be unique. Find out what really makes you a man. Find out what you really like. Find out your interests. What makes you happy. Don't do what all the rest of the niggas is doing on the block. Be you. Educate yourself, dig down deep, figure out what it is that you want to do with your life. Don't just do what the rest of the men are doing with their lives. Because everybody has a story and everybody has a purpose. So you got to find out what works for you. All right. So number 22, don't follow the mob. Be your own crowd. Number 23, I want you to define what success means to you. Now, there's a lot of different people that listen to my podcast. We come from different backgrounds, different upbringings. We have different lifestyles. So I want you to take a moment and really define what success means for you. 
and this is going to be a critical self-care rule because a lot of times you guys are unhappy because you feel unsuccessful but you don't have a clear target or a clear goal or a clear understanding of what success means to you so i want you to actually take time to define what success means to you does that mean making a certain amount of money driving a certain car having a certain status and lifestyle does it mean you know raising your family in a certain type of way what does success mean to you everybody has a different definition of success so once you reach that definition and you reach that goal you're going to be like Whew, i feel successful now right because this is what success means to me don't go based off how somebody else is living and what their success looks like really tap into your mindset and think about the type of family that you want to have think about the type of clothes you want to wear the type of places you want to travel the type of legacy that you want to leave behind and really take the time out and write out what success means to you does that mean making a hundred thousand dollars a year does that mean owning your own business does that mean having a living trust to pass down to your family does that mean making ten thousand dollars a month like what does success mean to you I want you to really define what success means to you and remind yourself of that every single day, every single day. Sometimes as parents, us raising a successful family, making sure our family had a great day from sunup to sundown, feeding them, nurturing them, listening to them, watching a movie with them. Sometimes that's success. So everyone has a different definition of success. And I want you to take time because you owe it to yourself. I don't want you just out there chasing anything. I want you out there chasing your definition of success, right? So I want you to really, really think about number 23 and see how critical that can be to the next three to six months of your life. If you focus on your own definition of success, okay? Now, number 24, I want you to find a way to love everything that happens. Everything that happens to you from sunup to sundown, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, find a way to love everything that happens to you, right? If somebody honks at you in traffic, you better find a way to love it. You better find a positivity in that. If somebody gets mad at you for being late, find a way to love your way through that, right? If your spouse gets mad at you and does something petty, find a way to love everything that happens to you because this is how you get that inner peace you got to build up a wall of happiness that nothing can break down and that stems from love if everything you do stems from love it's gonna be hard for somebody to come at you and knock you down with their positivity so you guys gotta find a way to love everything that happens good bad ugly happy sad whatever it may be you gotta find a way to love it and i'm gonna be real if somebody plays you out they break your heart find a way to love that shit if somebody breaks into your car steals your radio find a way to love everything that happens to you don't let that shit get you down don't let that shit put you out of character don't let that shit change you up don't let that shit throw you off game hell nah show them that ain't nothing gonna motherfucking break you you are god's highest form of creation so you can find a way to love everything baby you're gonna be the strongest of the strongest but if you let them break you down with every little thing you're gonna be a weak ass motherfucker your whole life but you gotta find a way to love everything that happens with you shit don't work out with your baby dad fuck it find a way to love everything that happens to you right your bills is late you have no bread so what find a way to love everything that happens to you because when you operate from that mindset i'm telling you you're gonna be so optimistic you're gonna be the type of individual that like i said can solve their own problems right because i want you guys to understand life is not promised every day that we wake up is a blessing so you guys gotta find a way to love everything that happens to you (laughs) so that you can keep going you can stay motivated right so that you don't give up So that nothing breaks you down, nothing makes you mad, nothing gets you upset, nothing knocks you off your game, nothing throws you out of your character, nothing stops you from achieving your goals every single day. Why? Because step number 24, you got to find a way to love everything that happens. I'm giving y'all that motherfucking sauce today, bruh. Step 25, man. Put every impression, every emotion to the test before you act on it. 
Step number 25, put every impression, put every emotion to test before you act on it, right? Let's say the shorty you talking to right now, right? Shorty you talking to right now, she do, she do something foul, but you still like her. But you want to cuss this bitch out and let her know how you really feel at that moment. I want you to test every emotion before you act on it. Every impression before you act on it, right? Because you guys got to understand, it's so much power in the tongue, in the way that we move, the way that we act. And we can have a lasting impression on some of the things that we say and do. So number 25, I want you to put every impression and put every emotion to the test before acting on it. And what that means is think before you speak, think before you act, think about the consequences, think about what happened if you talk to that person in that type of tone. Bitch, you better shut the fuck up because I don't really fuck with you. Nah, you can't do that. You got to put every impression, every emotion to the test before acting on it. So if you got to talk to yourself for a little while, for a couple of moments, cool, put yourself to the side. Check yourself before you act on those emotions. Because, I guys, I want you guys to understand, your character is really built off the way you make people feel. Right? So I want you to put every impression, put every emotion to the test before acting on it. Think before you speak. There's always a couple extra moments that you can take to think about what you're going to do next before you actually do it. Right? And that's what's going to set you aside from everybody else around you. You don't just think of, you don't just speak of the first thing that comes to your mind. You don't just act on the first emotion that comes arise, uh, that comes up when something happens. Like, real talk, we got to get back into the flow where we're thinking about the consequences before we take our actions. Okay? Because we're living in a world today where five minutes could cost you five to ten years of your life. Right? So think about the things you do before you do them. Put every impression and every emotion to the test before you act on it, right? This is what's going to make you a leader. This is what's going to make you a queen because this is chess, not checkers. You don't just move quick. Now you got to strategize. You got to think. You got to be better than them, baby. Everybody's out here running around like a chicken with their head cut off. But you got to be the one with your head strong, strategizing, thinking, planning, masterminding. Thinking of a master plan. But ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. So I dig into my pocket, all my money is spent. But guess what, dog? You can listen to me and get that money back. You can switch up your mentality and become a boss and do what you need to do. You just got to seek out challenges. Don't follow the mob. Define what success means to you. Find a way to love everything that happens to you. And last but not least, put every impression and every emotion to the test before you act on it guys i hope you found value from today's episode if you did make sure you leave us a review make sure you share the podcast episode with your friends your family around you screenshot today's podcast post it on your story and tag us for a shout out head on over to our youtube channel elevate your success one-on-one and subscribe so you guys don't miss an episode i just want to say thank you for tuning in and like i said if you guys found value from today's episode make sure you scroll down leave a review Give us some positive feedback and go out there and actually apply today's self-care rules to your life. Without further ado, I love you. Stay blessed. Go out there and elevate your success.